Hey guys, it's me, Just Tiffany B, and I'm back with another video. Today, I'm so excited because I'm talking about mainly a holiday set that I've been dying to get my hands on. And if you could tell by the title, you already know that we're going to be talking about MAC. Before we dive on into the main event of this video, um, I picked up a few things from MAC. Um, I just really quickly want to let you guys know that I'm trying out their um, eyeshadow primer. This is the perfect primer eyeshadow primer. I heard a good, a few good things about this eyeshadow primer. And I'm trying to look for something that would be really good to hold down my eyeshadows because I have very oily lids. So I'm going to see if this 24 hour eyeshadow primer could hold up my eyeshadows. So we shall see. And another thing that I've been dying to go ahead and try out for the longest is the Prep and Prime MAC Setting Spray. You guys, this Fix um, Fluid Spray has been it's been the longest since I wanted to get this. I know that it's geared to moisturize your skin and I already have oily skin. I'm kind of just trying to use this to intensify eyeshadows intensify highlighters and like spray it on pigments and put it on my face basically um but you guys i finally got my hands on it i had this on my wish list for the longest so now that we got these two goodies out the way let's go in and talk about max holiday collection you guys i'm totally not prepared for their holiday collection there's so many items in the holiday collection i didn't i don't even know what else to get but you know you already know that i got the sweet copper yes i had to get my hands on the sweet copper i was really happy and i'm happy now that i finally got my hands on it anyways let me stop rambling and let me just show you when you do open it up it does come with a mirror don't want to blind you guys but you guys, look at this beauty. I almost don't ever want to touch this compact because of the pattern and the pigments. Isn't it so beautiful? Like, look at that. I just find this to be so beautiful because I love blushes that are this shade. And this highlighter is, this highlighter, I'm kind of, I'm wearing it on my face. But you know what? Let's just pop some more on the face. Let's just go ahead and throw a little bit more on. You can never have too much highlighter, right? Alright, you guys don't judge me in this video because, you know. It's like this highlighter has this wet look without having to spray anything on it. Let me get the hair out of the way real quick. Yeah, this is the highlighter, you guys. This right here. This. Mm-hmm. My nose definitely doesn't need any type of light to it, but why not, right? But this is the highlighter on my face. Anyways, let me stop. Let me throw on some more blush. Like, this is just my favorite duo ever. Like, it's so suitable for warmer skin tones. I'm so glad that when they came out with the holiday collection, they came out with, like, a lighter skin tone and a warmer skin tone face compact. Because, you guys, this highlighter, this blush. Okay, so anyways, now that I'm done rambling about it, the face compact was about $36, $37. I feel like it was $36 and some change. I really didn't um, care about the price. I was just focusing on getting it in my hands. So I do believe it's around that price range. Whisper Girl is very hard to um, dupe, but I did pick up, I did kind of find a few dupes that was in my collection. Um, so I'm about to swatch all of them right next to each other just to see if we could find a possible dupe in my collection. I tried to find a drugstore dupe. 
but um it's not quite a drugstore you guys don't judge me so let's get into these swatches i'm going to make a long swatch of whisper guilt so we could just compare them all at once look at that bad boy you guys look at it look at it okay i'm sorry let me go ahead and make the other side even though now that we got a somewhat of a decent swatch going across my arm this is whisper guilt all right so let's go ahead and jump right on into laura geller this is gilded honey and let's just kind of show them side by side looking at them you kind of see a similar tint to it gilded honey um you guys i think we found a winner <laughs> um wait i think we found a winner you guys so this is gilded honey right here and this is whisper of guilt you guys just look at the swatch and compare it for yourselves because i kind of see that it's similar but let's let's just keep going to see if we can find a similar color to it. So this is my very beat up Orphra's You Do You. And um you kind of see a different tint to it. But let's not judge the packaging. Do you by Orphra? Oh my gosh, this is very similar. I'm not gonna lie. Oh uh, okay. This is very similar. Um, this one, um, Whisper of Guilt kind of have a more wet finish though, whereas Orpha has the same shade, it's just not as wet. We finished, let's go on to Champagne Pop. They look kind of different in the packaging, but let's still go ahead and swatch it. Alright, this right here is Champagne Pop. I'm done. I'm so done. Okay, so this is Champagne Pop. And this is Whisper Guilt. You guys, Champagne Pop has that same wet look. And it has that same shade. Oh my gosh. Now seeing them all swatch next to each other. Um, you do use kind of out the one running. Whisper, um, Gilded Honey is still in the running. But Champagne Pop is killing it. This one is an ex same exact dupe. Now, it's not a drugstore type dupe but it's still if you can't get your hands on whisper of guilt don't go crazy champagne pop is the same exact same exact finish same exact look but let's still go ahead and swatch my last dupe i believe this one is prosecco pop let's see if that one's similar so here it is in the split packaging so they kind of have a similar feel going on with the face compact both of them has a blush and a highlighter um the blush is a little bit more brighter over here though so let's go ahead and swatch this all right so this right here is prosecco pop let's see hmm i mean there hmm, how do i feel about this they're similar, but is I feel like this one is just a smidge darker than Whisper Girl. Is like just a smidge, like literally just a smidge darker. But you guys, if you were to ask me, Champagne Pop kind of won the prize. But if you do want to have like a cheaper um, version of the highlighter. Gilded Honey is very, very close to comparison. But it is around the same price range. So that is just in case if you don't want to buy Champagne Pop and you can't get your hands on this face compact or Whisper Guilt. Um, Gilded Honey will be your next step. Alright you guys, so I did go ahead and swatch... I did go ahead and do some swatches for you guys. You guys let me know in the comments below which one do you think is a similar comparison. If you were to ask me, both Gilded Honey and Champagne Pop are dupes 
for Whisper Guilt. Now, in my opinion, if I had the option of still picking up this face compact, I would definitely still go ahead and try to get, get the chance to get my hands on this. The reason being, this is about $36.00. Whereas you get both a highlighter and a blush, which is to die for. Whereas if you were just to get the highlighter, I do believe this is about $23 and this is around the same price area. Really, you're just get you're just paying a few dollars less for this, whereas you get two things for one. So I'm, I, in my opinion, I'm definitely in love with this face compact. This is everything to me. So if you do have the chance to get your hands on this, if you don't know what to get out of the whole collection, get your hands on this before you're unable to get your hands on this, you guys. I'm telling you, you're not going to regret it. I love it. This highlighter alone is so wet. You don't have to try to make it work with sprays. All you have, all you need is a brush and this highlighter, you guys. I am in love with the packaging, with the mirror, with the highlighter and the blush. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. You guys let me know in the description if there is other dupes for Whisper and Guilt. Especially if somebody finds a drugstore dupe for it. Let me know so I can go out there and find it. Because I'm trying to look for a drugstore dupe. And nothing is measuring up. Especially with the formula you guys. Nothing is measuring up at all. So you guys go ahead and let me know. Um, what are you guys planning on getting in the Nutcracker collection? Should I be picking up any of the locks, um, lip gloss sets? Should I be picking up any of, um, any of anything? You guys just let me know because I know I only have my eyes set on this bad boy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are subscribed. Go ahead and like this video if you thought it was good and interesting. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! When you say it like that, oh, oh.